Good morning. I'm Hillary Anderson, business and branding coach. And this is my wonderful client, Jamie of Hospice Buddy. And Jamie and I met on Facebook through a Facebook group. And I have since built her site and helped her grow her amazing new business. And the point of this interview is just to ask her about what she's done so far, how it's gone and so on. So Jamie, I'd love for you to introduce yourself and tell us about you and your background and why you started Hospice Buddy. Well, hello. <laughs> um, so I am Jamie. Uh, I created Hospice Buddy. Um, I've been a hospice nurse for 16 years. And I felt that even though hospice provides some really great services and great support, there are still families and patients that need more support. Um, they call in at night, they're scared. They're not prepared for the changes that are coming. Um, or as somebody is going through the end of life changes, uh, they really have a lot of questions and just need a lot more one on one time than I think traditional hospice services can provide. Um, so my goal is to be that support for people. So they're not feeling so alone and scared and their healing process after the passing of their loved one will be eased and the both the patient and the family will be at more peace. So that took a lot of guts to say, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to create this new business and no, and, and, and to your knowledge and to mine, there's nobody else doing quite what you're doing. Is that, is that true? Well, there are doulas, um, but they provide one-on-one um, -on -one care generally at the bedside, um, which is, great. However, I can't physically do that kind of work anymore. Um, but what I can do is the same thing I've been doing for the past few years is doing things by phone and just talking with people and having those conversations to explain those end of life changes and help walk them through those moments. Um, so whether I'm there at the bedside or online, we're still making that connection and still talking and, and helping you get through those those times. Right. Of being there for people when that's just, it's it, sadly because hospice isn't giving people enough um, mm -hmm. right now. It's just our health system, healthcare system. So when you thought about this business, what, what, where did you feel like you needed help and what were you really hoping to create? Um, well, I, I always want to take on projects by myself. I like to be a busy person and have a lot of things to do. Um, and I tend to overfill my plate. And so I wanted to create this website and I had the ideas, um, but I didn't even know where to start. <laughs> and I knew I did not have the time or probably the patience. And if I did start it, I don't know that I would have finished it or that it would have looked the way I wanted to because I really don't know that end of things. So uh, when I was in that entrepreneur group, I was looking for someone to help me and I had gotten some offers, but the people I was talking to, they didn't feel like they were, I didn't feel like they were meeting my needs or they could do what I needed them to do, or they wanted to put their own twist on it and have their own ideas or incorporated or make me have two different websites. Um, and that was not something that I was interested in. So I was kind of holding off until you messaged me and we had that meeting and I was like, okay, you understand what I'm trying to do and what I'm trying to build and where I'm trying to go with this. Um, and it was really helpful that you helped me to fine tune those ideas. So I knew, um, you know, I had ideas of what I wanted, but how to implement them and make that into a reality was something I probably could not have done on my own. Well, and I always say, I think doing our own stuff is the hardest. Like we're so close to it. Like it's so good to have another set of eyes or another Absolutely. way of thinking about it. Um, and to me, it just was, when, when I met you, it was just so obvious that you had something so valuable in all of your experience and it, it was just a no-brainer to me that you you were going to do well. And and I've just watched you work so hard to build this and build your page and build your following. 
and build your site and your blog. And, and I'll put a link to Jamie's site in the comments. Um, she's written amazing blog posts. She's also created a store of products that she recommends, which is so helpful if you're in that situation of, of not knowing where to, where to start with all of that as well. So the, her, her site, hospicebuddy.com is really an amazing resource. And, and what else Jamie's doing to grow her business and following is spending a lot of time in Facebook groups and answering questions, which is a, a great way to grow your visibility. Um, and we're looking at other ways to grow your business, right? Of, of reaching out to doctors directly and um, just sp spreading that net a little wider than social media. But of course, in this business that you're in, you could work with people, well, truly anywhere in the world, but anywhere in the country, of course. Yeah. I've, I've been um, in contact with people in the Philippines and um, Australia and California. I mean, all over the place. It's been pretty incredible um, how far it has reached. It's, you know, not just a little local thing like I had initially envisioned maybe. It's, it's grown to be much more than that. And I'm super thankful for that. Well, and in this time that we've worked together, which is only a few months, you've been so motivated that you've actually written a book, which you'll find on the homepage of the site. And you're working on a, being a part of a bigger book at the same time. Is that right? I am. So there's an anthology book coming out in December called Dream to Rise. Um, and it's basically about women who have, you know, had struggles throughout their lives and how they've overcome those struggles to do something greater and find their purpose. And so I think that, you know, this is what I was meant to do. I've done it for a long time. I'm comfortable with it. And I couldn't really imagine myself doing anything different than end of life care. Well, end of life care. And what I want to emphasize to people watching is, you know, we're, so many of us are trying to grow our following on social. And, and when Jamie and I first met, we were talking about video. But what became apparent quickly is that Jamie loves to write and it just flows out of her. It's so natural. And that's amazing. And that's awesome. And that's powerful. So so I don't I think my point is that you can pick the thing that you're comfortable in, the medium that you're comfortable in. And pursue that. In fact, Jamie started writing for the, the app medium and posting multiple articles there as well. So I think it's you know, as far as growing our businesses, it's picking it's picking what you like to do and you're comfortable with. I don't think it's having to force yourself into doing something because you, you're you're growing, 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 not doing video because that's not what you felt like doing right now. And that might come. But I'm just saying that the that writing is is we all know writing is so valuable. But I, I, you know what I mean? Like you and I started out, of course, you're going to make all these videos and have all these things on YouTube. But you found that you really love to write. And so that's what you've, and I, anyway, I just wanted to emphasize that I think it's working and it's yeah. awesome that, that, you know, yeah. and you are a, a lovely, lovely writer and you have so much, so much experience to share. So that's where your, your blog has been powerful and your medium, your medium uh, channel has been powerful. Um, is there anything else you want to add, Jamie? I, I don't want to keep you too long. Oh, that's okay. Um, you know, eventually I will get more comfortable with the videos. It's getting there because I've had, um, I've done three podcasts now. Some of them are not posted yet. I have a fourth one coming out next month. Um, so as I'm doing those things, I am getting more comfortable with the videos and our meetings have certainly helped. Um, but I do, and I do plan on making videos, how to videos, different things that will be helpful. Um, when caring for someone at home. So somebody can use a resource, um, you know, if you need to change the sheets on somebody who is in the bed and unresponsive, some people don't even know where to start. How do you right. change the sheets while somebody's in a bed? Right. Um, but there is a way and I can show you that way. And that is my, my goal with the videos. Um, and I would anticipate by the end of the year, I should have a, a few of them up. Well, I have no doubt, but I just, What's been really fun is watching you grow and gain exposure from what you're doing through writing. Like people are reaching out to yeah. you for the podcast and that's from your writing. That's from yeah. your being on, active on social. So it's just yeah. proof that again, we only started a few months ago that boom, you can, you can get the ball rolling 
you've been really diligent about a consistent, as I love to always love to say to my clients, your brand is so important across all platforms. And that's what you've embraced, you know, the hospice buddy and your logo and the look and feel and your site and the links everywhere. So I, it's just, it's been so much fun working with you and getting this all set up. And I can't wait to see what's next. It's been great. And I think your idea with medium for me, um, you know, I had never even heard of it, but I think that was a good outlet for me because I have always liked writing as long as it was something that interested me. Right. Um, obviously in high school, I didn't want to write papers, but, but this is different. It's something that I know about that I'm passionate about. And I think um, we tapped into some potential there that has been really impactful for a lot of people. I think so too. I think so too. And what's great about something like medium is it's sitting in the, it's sitting there on the platform. Like it's not gone, you know, when people search and so on, it's, it, you know, each of these platforms is its own little search engine and, and that's what medium is too. So um, I think it's really cool that you're, you've embraced writing on another platform as well as on social and, and on your own site. Um, okay. Well, I'll do a follow-up when you have tons of videos and next steps in your book, your next book out and, and all those things. Cause it's so much fun to see what's happening with your business. Well, thank you. And I thank you a lot for your help because I know there was no way I could have done this without your help. It was overwhelming to try to think about doing it on my own or where to start or just taking into consideration things I don't have experience with or questions that I really needed to ask myself um, to make this happen and to make um, my business come alive from a thought on a paper to something that's actually helping people. Well, it's so exciting to see it come to life. And it's, um, yeah, the online space is a lot. <laughs> and that's not, that, somebody said to me a long time ago, stick with what you're good at. You're really good at being a nurse and caring for people. But, you know, the online space is a different, it's a different thing. So, but you've got it. You've got, you've done it. You're doing it and you've figured it out. And, and that's been also, consistency on your part. You know, I think that that's, that's huge. You know, consistency is so important and you've, you, you are, you're doing it and being super consistent. So um, kudos all the way around. And thanks Thank for you. doing, thanks for doing this interview. Thank you for having me.